Hey, yo, what is going on with it once again? Bros, women, bronies, and pexers, the one, you know, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011 NK, Criticism Guide 2009, you guys know the rest of the videos, and before I begin, definitely check out, I can highly guarantee you, definitely check out on freenetwork.com and troublenotestudios.net if any people want a professional channel banner, picture design for you, all the good stuff, yada, 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 etc., etc. I'll put their link in the YouTube description box below, and of course, their um, link to their official website, or just Google it, it's completely up to you. So today... Without getting into any further, any other dilemmas, let's get this started in 3, 2, 1, if I can find this, boom. So this one's Pokemon Tag. I actually heard about this two weeks ago, I was just way too lazy, and plus I was super extremely busy with real life, plus for the past two days already, and probably up to like June or July, for like maybe like six or seven months, depending, maybe in nine months at the most, this coming September, um, I will be like doing these boxing classes for a little while. <laughs> And God, they're cheap. I want like a hundred bucks or whatever. I mean, they're expensive, but like compared to like super professional ones, like seven, eight hundred dollars or a thousand bucks for classes, forget that crap. Cause, <laughs> I'm not that rich, you know. I'm poor as heck. Don't get me wrong. But other than that, I'm not super poor, but I'm not super rich. You know what I mean? I'm like under the in between. But anyways, um, yeah, I actually heard from two other people. A lot of you people I know who she is. I already talked about her four or five times on this channel already. I completely lost count at this point. Tamashi Hiroka. Um, she had her video up, but then when I went to look for it again, she completely took it down. I don't know why she did that crap, but hey, that's her channel. You know, I'm not even going to play whatever the hell she does, you know. That's her real personal life. If she wants to do that herself, that's totally up to her. It's her channel. Um, and then I saw this from this one dude, Old School Sins. I thought his name was Cinema Sins, but that dude, he only does like movie reviews and game reviews. That's it. He doesn't do like nothing else besides those things. Um... So yeah, check check that guy out, Old School Sins. He's really funny. I thought he was a little bit of an effing douchebag a little bit when I first saw his content a couple weeks ago, earlier this year. But after a while, you know, I saw he's a pretty decent-ass chill dude, you know. You know, he's, he's a real awesome, pretty badass, you know, commentator guy. He's very wild and insane out there, but, you know, he'll, he'll yell at anything, whatever the hell goes and goes away. He says everything's effing annoying. Up this stuff, up this that. You know, I would say the actual words, but that's only on my criticism guy channel, so... <laughs> Other than that, this is Pokemon tag. So, um, I didn't get tagged by anyone, obviously, because a lot of people don't really do tags too much anymore, unless they're the real big giant YouTubers that do it to each other. But then she'd let everyone else do it, so that's cool. So, the first one is, what is your favorite Pokemon type? If any people have stood with me for a very long time, or if any of you ever got to know me in real life, or if you ever guys, guys ever do see me one day at a future PAX or Comic Con, you know. Which I highly doubt will ever happen, but if it does, definitely check me out there. Um, a lot of you people know, back in the day, in the original old school one, I probably would have been between Dragon and Electric. Most likely Electric would have been my favorite type, but when Gen 2 came out with Johto, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, it was a little bit of a tie between Dark and Steel, then I decided Steel types were the strongest, thickest, toughest Steel type Pokemon ever. That is until X and Y came around, sadly they got buffered down a little bit. But that's, you know, competitive-wise, like stuff they pretty much um buffered it really really bad just like dragon types and stuff um this still is my number one favorite type because they all the badass amazing pokemon i love way back in the days like old school skarmory steelix some um, scizor or some people call like like to call scizor and that's pretty much it that's my favorite pokemon element type is steel okay number two what is your favorite region uh the nostalgia side of me wants to say um Johto and Kenso, Gen 1 and 2, but as extremely surprising and insane as hell as this is going to be, my most favorite region out of all of them is going to be Sinnoh. I'm sorry for all the old school fanboys out there and fangirls that grew up with it like I did. Was, trust me, I was a 90s kid. I say that a lot in my videos, but I really was. I grew up in that era where it was literally at the peak of its success when Pokemon first came out. And I, I can guarantee you, I was going to play some games. Shoot. Um, give me one second. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on one second. All right, there we go. And all right, there it is. I just had to do a quick minor adjustment there. So yeah, um, let's see. What is your favorite region? Yeah, like I said, Sino. Sino is one of the greatest of the greatest, best of the best. Like games that did come out during that time, because this was like my last year in high school, back when I was 07 and 08 that time. I was completing my junior and senior year at that time. It has so much freaking amazing epicness that it had to it. Oh my freaking lord. 
all the music you listen to is probably some like DJ mixes. Hopefully, I don't get no content ID thing, which sadly that happens, can suck ass, but whatever. Um, yeah, my favorite region of Sinos, plus the whole Team Sinos thing that's going on, that's pretty damn cool, because I know two people that were involved with the kids to PTC and um, maybe Jordan Japan, I'm not sure. Pokemon Excavation, aka Mimi, she was involved with it a lot. And uh, yeah, so yeah, there's that. And then they had all the older Pokemon, the older evolutions, and some evolution change, like for Togepi's line, they, they gave it the evolution for Togekiss. For the Gardevoir, you know, the Ralts Gardevoir Curlier line, they gave it a male version, which was on Gallade. And they got Porygon Z, Rhyperior, which was one of my most favorite, because a lot of you people don't know, which I'm going to get to the next future question. You already know that one was my favorite Pokemon for the original two, and I'm going to get to that in a second. And a couple other ones, like Frostlass ended up having happening, having a thing. Miss Mongius or Miss Magius ended up coming out. And what else? I was going to say Rotom, Dust Snore, that one ended up being an evolution there from the home region. And then a couple other ones, about 10 other more, 10 other different ones. And then the pre-evolutions like Mine Jr., Bonsly, Happini, and then Mankite, you know. That was pretty damn cool. That's another reason I really love the hell out of that Sinnoh region. I really, really did. And then they brought back the casinos, which was a lot better. First, second, third, and fourth, they always had. And I think Gen 5, they took it out completely, which really sucked ass for me. That's the thing that I was really having a lot of trouble wrapping my head around. And a lot of people love the crap out of Garchomp and Lucario. I would have had to go with Garchomp a lot more. And I really love the way they established um, the eight gyms and stuff like that. They put a lot more of a different spin to it than they did in the first, second, and third gym. Um, and the next one I liked about Sinnoh was, um, was a lot less water. And um, you were able to get the event Pokemon with like action replay and stuff. That's how I used to do it back in the day. About like seven years ago by now. <laughs> And that's it. That's why I really love the hell out of Sinnoh. It was one of my favorite games, Diamond Pearl Platinum. I'm sorry, it just was. Sorry for my old school fanboys and fangirls out there. Anyways, hey, where was that favorite region? Which Pokemon games do you own? Oh man, I got so many of them. Well, I don't have any of them right now with me, but I do got a few. Some of you people don't know, may or may not know. I got the original Ruby Sapphire um, and Emerald around, but they're just laying around this room somewhere. Uh, Mystery Dungeon, that's one. Fire Red. I got Leaf Green too, but I can't find it nowhere. Um, Hard Gold Soul Silver, Black White. And I think Black White 2 is laying around somewhere. Um, Hard Gold Soul Silver right there and Platinum, like I just said. And all those other good things. Um, let's see. What's another one laying around here? I just want to count the old TCG games. I guess there's that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's pretty much um, goes along saying. I do got a couple of them. I used to have the Battle Revolution one. I ended up selling, selling a lot of them, a couple of them. That one, the really old school GameCube, like Hal Max and Gale of Darkness. I sold those years ago. But I did previously own those back in the past. I did own them. So don't get a twist. I was still a Pokemon fan there. And then Battle Revolution I had too. Along with even the really old school original one. I never owned the N64, but I did have the cartridge for it. For like Pokemon Snap and Pokemon... Um, Stadium 2. I never had the first stadium one, but I did have the second one back in the day. So yeah, there's that. <clears throat> in the games, which gender did you normally play as? In Generation 2 and 3, sometimes I was play as a girl. I think I stopped out with the 4th generation, because I kind of got bored with it, because it was pretty much the same thing no matter what happened. That pretty much goes along saying, like, I'm not trying to, like, bash on feminists or anything, but, like, never really cared too much about that. You know, like, I played more as a dude than I did as a girl. Alright, so, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, I might have to do a second part of this, sorry ladies and gentlemen. Um, do you watch the anime? Um, I used to watch it a lot back in the day, I mean, Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, you're going to hear back in the day a lot in this video, so I apologize if you don't want to watch it. I did watch it a crap ton, I'm not going to lie, I really, really loved watching it. I think after Generation 4, the 5th and 6th generation I wasn't too crazy about. I watched little bits and pieces of it, just, it wasn't my, you know, forte. My, it wasn't my, like, anime taste, because, like, it kind of got very competitive, and I got really tired as hell by Ash and Pikachu, it just, it bored the bejesus hell out of me, I'm sorry, it just freaking did, man. And, like, especially all the memes and stuff out there, that pretty much obliterated the anime. All the memes and the jokes and all that, and the crazy-ass sex references, and, the list goes on and on. I'm going to try to keep it PG rated because, you know, there might be younger viewers watching because I am a grown man. I'm going to be 26 soon, so 
I pretty much have been around the block lots of freaking times. Um, outside of Pokemon, obviously, but we're talking about Pokemon right now. Alright, um, let's see. How long have you, <clears throat> how many, how many seen in the Pokedex of your latest game? Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> Dang. Oh my god. I think the last time we played that was like August or September, right? The cartridge, so it's been like six months, five, six months, give or take. Um, the last one I've seen is like pretty much all of them, 493. All of them, pretty much. And then black and white, I was only missing like six of them, but other than that, how many that I've seen, I've seen pretty much all of them. Generation, like six, I can't say, or Mega Ruby Al Sapphire, because I've never bought those games, they're expensive hell for me right now. Kind of a little bit of a financial situation right now, so I can't really unfortunately buy those games right now at the moment. So there's that. Plus, I'm going to be moving this year, so I really can't buy Jack Crap for games, period, right now. Probably next year in 2016. I don't know. Not right now, though. The only cheapest games I could buy is, like, Steam PC games, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah, there's that. In the game, how many owned in, in the game? In that game, how many did you own? In, that's weird. That doesn't even make sense. How many owned in the Pokedex? How many did you own in the Pokedex? That's what you're meant. The highest, like I said, 493. I got all of them. In the, I got every single Pokemon Pokedex. I completed every single one for the National Ducks. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I never did for 6, like I said, because I never got to play X and Y or Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. So, unfortunately, I can't do that one. So, um, I can't really talk on that half. Alright, so, um, same question. No, I didn't for those two. The rest I completed completely from 1 through 5. Generation 1 and 5. Alright. Do you even like Pokemon? <laughs> Obviously, if I wasn't making this vlog video, I, would, I wouldn't like it at all, period. Because I actually said to myself, in Gen 3 or 4, when one of those generations stop, like, completely come to a stop and never ain't Pokemon again, Game Freak or Nintendo never made Pokemon again, then I'll stop liking it. But they still kept moving around the Pokemon train, you know, like, that cash grab, that's, cash, that's a cash cow of a franchise, man, I'm telling you, it's Pokemon. So I kept liking it. So obviously, yes, I still like it. All right, so uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Do you collect the trading cards? Oh my God, this is gonna take forever. I'm gonna save that question for last because that's gonna be very super long as you can see in the background of me right now. Let's see. Oh, but I could ask you the other half of the question. Do you play the game or just collect? And I just collect them. I've never played a competitive with the TCG game. Um, do you draw Pokemon? Yes, I do. I usually do that like once a month whenever I get free time off. They're usually either Pokemon fusions or Pokemon with weapons on them or anything like crazy and sexual once in a while. Not very much. That's usually, usually a yearly basis for that one. Just a yearly basis. Um, what is my favorite Pokemon? Oh, God. Um, for nostalgia purposes, I'm going to put two of them. Rhydon and Rhyperior. Pretty much that's it. That goes without saying because... I say this almost in some of my videos, but if any people have been with me long enough, you know the reason why. But for my new subscribers, if you haven't been with me for a while, I will say this. Because Rhydon, without Rhyhorn and Rhydon, those two chain evolutions, I literally would have never been in a Pokemon period. It probably would have been, I probably would have gotten to Generation 2 or 3 instead, like for, um, for Gold, Silver, Crystal, Ruby, and Sapphire, way later on when I got a little older in my teenage, you know. So yeah, that pretty much cuts to the chase there. Ride on because um, I remember Blaine ha actually had a ride on back in the old anime series, which was badass and epic as hell, beyond pro beyond all proportions. So there's that. And Ride period because he was just a billion times stronger than Ride one was, even though he has, still had really bad like physical defense. His special defense was a lot better. All right, um, what is your second favorite? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Who who do I go with? You know. Once again, the nostalgia is probably gonna have to kick in. I'm it's kind of a tight match between Houndoom and Skarmory, but if I had to go with more attack power, Houndoom. Houndoom is my second favorite. <laughs> he would probably be my third favorite. Alright, um, if there was a third favorite, it would be Skarmory. Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What is your favorite legendary? Ooh, Jesus, God. Um, um, Sweet Celestia, Arceus, God. <laughs> Woo! Um, that is a tough one. That is a very toughie. Unfortunately, once again, nostalgia is going to play a role in this. I actually have two favorites. I can't decide which one's which. Lugia and Zapdos. That's it. And I'm not going to tell you why either because it'll take forever. To, this video will take even longer than it already is. 
Do you know what number 493 in the Pokedex, National Dex is? It's Arceus. No doubt, doubt, no doubt about that. Um, would you rather have a Meowth or a Growlithe? Growlithe all the way. Meowth, he was kind of an a-hole. A little bit of an a-hole. I didn't like him too much in the Pokemon games or in the anime. It's like, ugh. He had that little stereotypical, like, New York accent, if any people watch in English. In Japanese, I'm not sure if any people seen him bit there, but... I know in English had an East Coast, Staten Island, like, stereotype accent when I was living in New York. I kind of pissed me the hell off. That's why I never really liked Meowth. He was annoying as hell. I'm sorry if you're a Meowth fan, but for me... Especially Cat's Meowth. I know she's a big fan of that, but... For me, I never really liked him too much. Growlithe all the way, so I'm... I'm siding with Super Duper Tutorial. Shout out to Danny, because I know... Growl is one of her favorite Pokemon. That's a coat, Togepi, and um, Lab Person on all those. Maybe Heracross. I don't know. Um, do any of your relatives play Pokemon? I remember back in the day they did, but I haven't talked to them in almost 14 years. My God. Actually, no, I talked to them like four or five years ago, and they, none of them don't like it at all. They think it's all stupid and retarded, and, oh, it's for little kids. It's stupid if you like it, and all that crap, you know. I'm not going to get into that because I'm going to be using a crap ton of profanity and I really don't want to answer too much of that question because that cuts into my very private personal life. So sadly, I can't answer the whole question on that. But long story short, not, not, none of them really like it at all too much, sadly. Let's see. Um, they did back in the day when it was at its prime, but after third generation, I don't think they liked it no more. So yeah, um, how often do you think about Pokemon? Pretty much almost every single day, if you really want me to be honest with myself. Yes, I do. Alright, so um, as long as it's not at work, you know, there's it's grown men and stuff I uh, work with over there. And eh, they'd probably think I'm some rapist pedophile if I tell them that stuff. So, hell no. I'm not tell them over there. Now, you guys, yes. Alright, so, um... Let's see. Do you hide the fact that you like Pokemon from your real life friends? Um, the only two real-life friends, they already know I love the crap out of it. They have no problem with it whatsoever. One's still really into it himself. The other one, he kind of outgrew it. He didn't care too much for it anymore. He still does, like, a lot of anime and a lot of PS3 and 4 games. He's more into, like, a lot of COD and Battlefield stuff. Unfortunately, he does like the crap out of Halo, which I really freaking hate the bejesus out of that damn effing game. But, uh, for the most part, like, he, he completely grew out of it. He doesn't like it at all. The other one, he likes it still. Like I do, which is awesome. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, um, what pets do you have that resemble Pokemon? I do have one of my pets. If any people haven't seen my video a couple weeks ago, I'd probably say it looks like, um, what's it called? Not Lily Pup, but the second evolution of it. Frick, what was his name? Damn. Hurtier. It looks like Hurtier a little bit, but a shorter version of it. And she's a little bit like a Jack Russell Terry with Chihuahua mix. We call her Mimi, too. <laughs> Me and my roommates. Um, if you don't know what a video is, I'll put in the description box below. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, let's see. What Pokemon do you hate the most? Oh, God. That's actually a tiebreaker between Magikarp and Shellos. Uh, there's a couple other ones I really hate a little bit, too. A couple of them. Not very many, but a couple of them. A handful of it. Most of them are just the weak first stage evolution Pokemon. Especially the baby ones. Ugh! I can't stand the crap out of them. I mean, when I was little, back in the second generation, I liked it, but after that, I didn't care too much anymore. All right, um, which evolution do you like the best? This is another unfortunate tiebreaker, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Bros and Bros and Sisters that are watching out there, people, good friends on the internet. Um, oh, back in the day, it was actually Jolteon because, I, like I did say before, Electro types were my number one favorite way back when. But then I ended up changing the Umbreon, and then a couple years later. When um, um, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum came out, it ended up being Glaceon. Because I didn't really like um, Leafeon very much. It looked like a little weed plant. Even though I do, once a, once every three, six months, I like smoke a little more marijuana and stuff like that. Mighty Wimos and stuff. But not all the time, obviously. It's extremely strict sometimes out here. But it's probably going to be a physical law here in Nevada eventually. But yeah, um... Which evolution did I like the best? Up to now standards, I'd probably have to say Umbreon still topples a little bit over Glaceon, but then Glaceon, or Glaceon, as some people call it, is still my second favorite best on Pokemon. As far as attacks go, I feel like it's a little bit stronger than Umbreon, but as far as Umbreon goes, speed maxes out a lot quicker than uh, Glaceon. So yeah, it's mainly those two most of the time. Alright, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, 
which cast form is the best form. I like the tornado cast form the most. He, he is a boss. Definitely a lot more nostalgic memories. Which Deoxys form is the best? Woo! The emerald one. That's the one I gotta say. Oh, oh, oh man. I mean, that's that's pretty much a badass on my epic hardcore balsa wall Pokemon. All right. Um, Articuno, Zapdos, or Moltres, I pretty much answered that already. Zapdos, number one, baby. Because I always remind me about Spanish ones, zapatos, but it was Zapdos for shoes or sneakers, I think that's what it was. Lugia or ho another one I just answered not too long ago, Lugia. Because ho uh, I wasn't crazy about too much. It was a cool-ass Pokemon, it just wasn't my style. The two people I will tag, of course, one of my extremely super loyal subscribers out there on Desdirt 15. I tag you, buddy, because you are awesome. I love it when you comment every single one of my videos. You are amazing, man. Um, and I got I gained a lot of respect for you, too. Okay. Um, which two people you tag? The second one? I don't know who the second one I should be. Actually, I'm going to tag three people. Screw it. Um, Dom and James, I'm going to tag them. They're awesome as hell. And hell, there's two other people. Might as well. Um, anyone that's in the Pokemon community, I pretty much tag. That's what it is. Big and small, no matter what. Even though the big ones like Team Boost or Rake, I'll tag him, I guess. Why the hell not? Hmm, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Oh, Tim LP Pokemon. I'm tagging him. He's a cool kid, man. Definitely shout out to him. He's awesome, man. Tim LP Pokemon plays. He definitely gets attacked. But other than that, that's all I have to say. Oh, of course, um, all the Pokemon cards that I do own right here. Hold on. There you go. Take a good whiff out of that. I'm just going to speed through these because this is going to take forever, forever to get to. There's, I got about at least 30,000 of these things. Half of them are clones and repeats, and I got another 10,000 that are like, um, <clears throat> yeah, I got another 10,000 of those that's pretty much under the camera that I'm used to recording in this box or whatever, so I'm not going to open any of those out. There's those that one right there. There it is, there it is. Take a good look at it. You could go to my way, way, way more older videos if any people want to check this out. My hands are probably going to be sore as hell by the time I'm done with this video. Woo! Alright. Hopefully you like the little music in the background so that way this isn't as boring as it might be for some of you. Alright. Alright, there you go. Hopefully you like it. Some of them might be hollow, some of them might be EXs. The furthest back mines go to is Generation 3 and 4. Um, I... Do you have a couple from... I only got one from Generation 1 from Neo Destiny. So that's, a, that's an unknown. I mean, do you people actually, like, cared about it? If you actually made it this far in the video, check it out. Nice, man. I know it's glorious. It's glorious. I don't want to sound like a bastard prick when I say that, but it is. It just... It so is. And some of these are just common Pokemon. I think these are Platinum Arceus and Platinum. And then the other one, I think it was Rising Rivals or the other one, Supreme Victors. That was actually one of the first videos I looked at it. Speaking of which, I'm going to go off topic and say I was actually watching a couple of my videos from way back when. Oh my god. I messed up a lot worse then than I do now. A few times I'll still mess up on my words, but man, I was way more terrible at that time. I'm not trying to be negative of myself, ladies and gentlemen, but damn, I, I, truth hurts, but that's how it was. Alright, um, there's that. Hopefully you're liking this. I still got to show you the rest of my binder. Oh, a lot of these were from um, Rising Fist, the ones from last year that came out. I'm still going to get Primal Clash next week, so spoiler alerts there. Many of you people actually made it this far. This is video's not going up until Wednesday because I'm recording it on Tuesday. So yeah, there's that. The Enfus. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell. All right, there we go. And these are all boundaries crossed, or it could be something different, I don't know. Woo! Um, you guys can leave the video if you want. I will totally understand if this gets boring. But if any people are, like, staying this long, hella congratulate you on that. Oh, this is the unknown I was talking about. This one's, like, way too big right here. This is just a giant bulk set. Woo! Ginormous, ladies and gentlemen. Giant freaking enormous. And I'm going to have a big-ass hard time, like, cleaning this up. Alright, I showed you that one, showed you this one. Alright. Hold on, hold on. I normally don't do this, but 
There you go. I'll show you this one at least. I think these are all emerging powers too. Hopefully you're liking this too. I think it's emerging powers black white one and black white two. It's probably all gonna fall out of my hands too, so <laughs> my I can already feel the burn in my hands right now. I haven't even show you the ones in my own thing yet. Big giant stack right here has Needle Queen. These are all Plasma Storm Freeze and Blast from here. All the Plasma Series. Oh, and the real badass cards. Let's get to the super badass cards of the Hollows EX and the Full Arts. Oh, and that's my little pony right there. Don't be curious about that unless you're subbed to this channel and you love MLP. I know you do. Oh, this one's turned behind. Oh, that's why. Chandelure and that one. Take a gander at that, man. I'm waving this around like if it's money. In a way, it kind of is. It's probably worth like maybe 10 20 dollars at the most. But I love the hell out of these the bad boys, man. I just do. Oh, Blastoise and Lyron. Or Lyron, however you want to pronounce it. A lot of people call it Lyron. I like calling it Lyron. <clears throat> oh. More EXs, one of the more latest ones I got. This is like the last three latest I got from um, Phantom Forces. And the rest are pretty much randomized. Hopefully it's not too bright for you guys. Alright, and... A random Houndoom there from um, Plasma Blast. Alrighty! Woo! And I still got three of these to go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yep, that's it. Those are all the real badass ones I got. And you can see in the front here, I got really, really older ones, even though they're still hella recent. Okay. This one might take a little longer. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. If not, I apologize. I'm going to let Lucario's out. It's been a long time since I busted this bad boy open. All that. Like I said, I got about 30,000 cards, plus 10,000 more in there. It's ridiculous. Alright. You can pause the video if you want. And nobody's stopping you. <laughs> Some of the yuxes. I actually got this in numerical order too. I used to have a, I separated three different ways: elemental ways, element ways, or type ways, old school to new school, or then I sell, separate them into like um, or individualize them, organize them into like number ways. And the last final one. Oh, we're back at this again. All right. Now. The last official official one. These are all the X, Y ones. A lot of these are flash fire and X and Y. That's why this one's a little bit tinier. All right. Sorry for the awkward silence, but these took me forever to freaking get. Some of these actually won in a contest. I won two in a contest. One was Poke Lady 10. I forgot who the other one was. Oh, man. Shout out to you, Jennifer Rich, if you want to do this Pokemon tag, too. I know it's a little bit late. I was going to tell you in the comments, but yeah. Where's that? <laughs> oh, I forgot I had this good one. Damn. Oh, and these are all the full arts. A glorified sexual badass full arts man, I'm telling you. I tell you what, in the words of Hank Hill, King of Hill, plenty of people don't know what that is. <laughs> That's all I have to say, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully you like this little Pokemon tag. It might be over 20 minutes by the time I'm done uploading this video. It's gonna be on Wednesday. Sorry it's not 720p, because lately my um internet service provider Cox is kind of being a bitch lately, unfortunately. Um, because they're my internet caps are really, really bad right now. So um 
I'm uploading three of them right now, and it has said like 999, 999,000 minutes. I'm thinking to myself, what the hell? So I'm probably going to have to talk to my ISP provider. I might end up raising a little bit of hell on them too, because I'm pissed the hell off at that crap. But anyways, uh, on a good note, yeah, look out for this too. The more MLP trading cards, who knows? I might do a couple more of those left. And this Lucari, I know a lot of people, you like it. It is awesome. Legendary treasure, I'll admit, it's cool. NEX and the full art and the gold one, I'll admit, it's pretty epic. And very chilled and very awesome looking. Um, like I do say, people, is what is, ain't what ain't. Peace out once again, bros, women, bros, and Pegasus. So we'll see when I see you guys a good day. Have a night we're out around the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it like all the good stuff. And until then, next time, guys, um, peace out. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And I will talk to you guys soon, all right? Take it easy. Stay safe. I'm gone. I'm out of here. And um, yeah, late to goodbye. Take care of yourselves. Have a good one. Brand new, super um, awesome videos coming soon. And I will talk to you guys later, all right? Take it easy, everyone. Goodbye. Have a good day. And see you around.